Catherine says, I'm trying to send a forum to clients for them to upload files. It will not allow me to send to anyone, just those in my organization. Is there any way around this? My admin has tried changing settings and no luck. Please help. The answer is no, not with the standard forms. You know, standard forms, if you're wanting to upload files, it's an internal feature only. So you can send a link for internally. But the moment you actually swap over to, you know, an external link, like you're giving permission to external party to fill in the form, then no, they can't actually upload. It actually just grays it out. So you can't include it at all as part of an external link. So, you know, at the moment, on the standard form side, but I mean, if you're going over to the Forms Pro, which is out of the underneath the Dynamics 365, the customer voice side of things, you can absolutely, but that goes into a much, much, much bigger solution. It's not actually something that's a that's in there that you can do at this point. The the one way I've actually worked around it is I have actually provided a, a sometimes a link. You can put a link sometimes into a form. Um, it doesn't actually come up though, looking like a link because of the, with the way that it does URL, but they can copy and paste it and they can actually upload files that way and make sure they've put a naming convention against it to, to load a file. Um, not necessarily a very good workaround at all and not necessarily something I would particularly you know go out there and advise a lot of, of doing you know you can get a, like a shorter bitly type link so that it's not really big long links to a link to load something up but um yeah it's really not a feature at this point as part of forms I, there's that's half of the question yeah I'm so that one like completely get that we've had a variation of that question and it's a known missing feature that people have been requesting. I think it's out there. I don't know where it is on roadmap around that. But the other half of that is like, it's not allowing me to send to anyone, just those in my org. Mm. So I think that that half of it, of her question, like uh, because um, I've created many a form and sent it, I, I posted a link to the form in social media and had people from, all over the world go in and respond um are we sure she's talking about microsoft forms or is she talking about a sharepoint list form is she talking about the new list form which looks like it should do all of the things but is only for inside the organization true so that would be my assumption that it's the list form rather than does it then have list form have the same restrictions that that microsoft forms have with the uploads that is an excellent question. Uh, I'll have to get back to you. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that the list form will actually do the the attachments though, thinking about it, um, because it is it's directly attached to a SharePoint list. Um, just it's using JSON similar to the the modify form with JSON or customized yeah. form with JSON. So, so I again, think it would do the, the, it, the attachment. It does, yes. Uh, in modern SharePoint lists, users can upload multiple files at once, and so you can attach them and, and do that. So that does make this a bit more perplexing of... Right, is she talking about the new forms button? Is that what that is too? So there's a there's another thing out mm. there. Are you talking? So this is so basically the Catherine. Are you talking about forms? Are you talking about forms? Or are you talking about forms? Forms because those are two <laughs> different which, things. Which forms? Really? Yes. Or a power app. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, so but that but that's we've got to be careful because of this excellent naming of like the feature, the capability, and <laughs> the, where the forms is. Context is everything. So like yeah. I jump to Microsoft Forms. That's correct. Yeah. We we're talking we we're talking about list forms and there's the forms button, the capability and power pages. So mm -hmm. what it, yeah. Because power pages might be another option, but it is another license. But from a power pages, you can have an unlicensed user, external user that has access to a form where they can upload and download files so but it's it's again it's an, a license but it would be a bulk license it'd be a power pages license that's like a one cost 
for up to X number number of of connections. And then you can have your external users log in through that. And it's think power portals. <laughs> think the old portals. It's built on Dynamics, but it has the so, SharePoint connections. So let, let me ask the, this scenario because it so by default, the SharePoint list will be restricted internal for that. It allows the upload, but you can it, it you you can the admin can enable you know external sharing uh you know to a sharepoint site so it needs to be set up it needs to be approved um if they've you know they can enable sharing to site owners so it, it could be that you know the one that the site needs to be given the ability to reach out to external um users um, two, you have to have the right permissions within that approved site to be able to send out to those external users. So um, if the answer is that you're trying to do something and the admin saying no with everything else that we have um, that, that's in this, this site, like, no, you, you can't. Like the other question is, is this, could you go and create a net new SharePoint site that is externally SharePoint sharing enabled specifically for this list and for this credit creation for this project that would allow you to go and do that thing or that disrupt the overall flow because it's part of this other other project? Because like I like how I would get around that is that if my project's being done, whether in SharePoint or Teams, I would then create that separate SharePoint site that's enabled. So what you're doing there is you're creating a site that is you're basically, it's like a sandbox from the rest of your project and where all the sensitive stuff is. You're doing this list, you're getting, pulling information in from these external users. And then you create a link to that other SharePoint site created for that activity with external users add that link over into your main SharePoint site so that people, it's one link away or in Teams, add it as a tab so it's right there for the project people to get access to. But that's a workaround for getting around this issue. Um, yeah. If the problem is that your organization is set at an organizational level, like no external sharing or we're not going to enable this, like then you're out of luck. Yeah, and to, to circle back the form, I just pulled up the forms button on a SharePoint list, and uh, it it looks a lot like Forms, like Microsoft Forms. It might even be more like Microsoft Forms Premium or Pro or whatever it's called, um, but it does have a Send Form button on the screen, and it specifically says when you when you get to this Send Form, it says people inside this organization with the link can respond. So, so that's probably what she's talking about. That would be my guess. Okay. Yeah. So three up options. If you're using Microsoft Forms, you can share it externally and there's no way to add attachments. Okay. Two, if you're using know. a SharePoint list form, um, if you have the right permissions to the site and to your to your permission level, you can share externally, but you got to make sure that setup is there first and you can do attachments. Or you could go the Power Pages route, have the add uh, form button to that, but you could have the form externally accessible and attached through that new capability. So, Catherine, it's up to you to decide <laughs> which path. Only you. Yeah. The power is yours. <laughs>